Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Jenny. So in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Hourglass brow collection. Well, I actually have two of their brow products that they recently released. I'm gonna be testing out their new Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil, and I have it in the shade Soft Brunette, and I also got their Arch brow shaping gel in the color clear. So if you're interested in seeing how these two products work out for me, then let's get right into the video. All right guys, so I'm gonna try to keep this review short and simple. And before we get into it, just as a disclaimer, I received these two products for free from Influencer and Hourglass for my review purposes. But as always, my opinions are 100% my own. So now that we got that out of the way, let's just get into what these two products are. So so the micro sculpting pencil retails for $28 and I believe it's available in nine shades. You can also get it at Sephora and hourglass.com. And when it comes to the brow shaping gel, I got it in the shade clear and this one also retails for $28. And there's really nothing else for me to say about the products other than I love Hourglass and I have really high expectations and let's see how they work out. So I got right here the two new Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil and also the Arch Brow Shaping Gel. So these are the two products that we're gonna be testing out today and I'm using the shade soft brunette in the pencil and my shaping gel is just clear the component it's pretty standard for what we normally see on brow pencils so you get the spoolie on one end and the actual pencil on the other side but what I am the most excited about is the actual shape of the pencil. So if you take a closer look at the actual shape of the pencil you will notice that it has an oval shape which I think it's gonna make it easier to create hair-like strokes. We will put that to the test today, but I really like the packaging for Hourglass products. I mean, they definitely are a very luxurious brand, so there's nothing else to expect, especially with those prices. And please don't mind my makeup right now. I think I just have to mention it. Obviously, I am halfway done because I do want to complete my brows before I do my eye makeup. But let's now just get into the brow application. So let me just start. Whenever I use a pencil, I normally start on the outer part of my brow. Okay, let me actually swatch it for you guys. Ooh, I actually really like the color. So that is what this color looks like. It is definitely a cool tone brown. And I personally like those tones. I don't like my brows to be warm at all. But what I will say though, is that I find that the pencil, it's a little bit harder to draw on your brows. I think it's not as creamy as other pencils that I have used in the past. Like for example, I am comparing it to my ABH um, the Anastasia Brow Wiz and also to my Sigma Beauty Bill Brow Pencil, I believe it's called. Those are my two favorite ones. And those are a little bit creamier than this one. This one definitely feels like the formula is a little bit more on the drier side. So that's just something to note. But regardless of that, I think it is still doing a good job at filling in my brows. All I'm saying is that it is definitely on the drier side. Now let me just give it a quick brush to make sure all of the product is well blended. Alright, so this is one eyebrow completed and no brow. Definitely, you can see a huge difference. I think this color is actually a perfect, perfect match for my actual natural brow hairs. I think it really nailed it when it comes to the actual color for my brows. I really like that. And I do like the finished look. I think it gave my brow a very natural look and it was actually very easy to use. I think that because the point of the pencil is very fine, it does allow you to get into those little tiny gaps in your brows so that you can actually fill them in. So I am actually very pleased, but I do have to mention that 
it's probably one of the most dry formulas that I have ever used when it comes to brow pencils. I'm telling you, the other ones that I have tried are a little bit more creamy. This is just a little bit drier for me and I don't mind it. I think it's actually gonna help me for my brows to last a little bit longer and especially right now since it's summer. You know, you get sweaty and oily outdoors so I think it's a really good thin the other thing i want to mention though is that if you probably are on the oilier side you are probably gonna really like this pencil because of that formula that is just not as creamy i know that some people tend to complain about creamier brow products because they tend to just smear or not stay in place for a long time and i think this is actually going to be a great option for those people that have a oilier skin type i think it's a really great product so far but let me go ahead and do my other brow in a speed motion and I will be right back so that we can try out the shaping uh, gel and now I'll be trying out their new arch brow shaping gel and this is in the color clear and oh I really like that the little brush is so tiny very petite and we'll see how this applies Okay, this is literally the perfect size for my brows at least. I mean, I don't think I expect too much from a clear brow, but I think what really makes the difference is the applicator. And it literally fits right in my brow, so it's the perfect size. Okay, it works, I think it's really good. I think my favorite part is the size of the little brush. And that's that. I really like it. So let me go ahead and finish my face makeup and I will be right back to wrap up this video. All right guys, so I'm back. I finished with my makeup and now let's talk about the new Hourglass products that we just tried out today. So I personally really like them. I would definitely recommend them. My favorite part from the Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil was actually the shade of the color that I use. I told you guys when I was applying it that this is the perfect shade for my natural brow hairs I think it matched me perfectly just as a reminder I used the shade soft brunette so this one actually matched me really well it's definitely on the cooler side which I prefer and additionally I really enjoyed the shape of the brow pencil I think the fact that it's super tiny and small it really allows you to get into those little gaps in your brows so that you can actually create hair like strokes but that's not something unique to this specific brow pencil I think you can definitely get something like that similar at other brands that have come out with small pencils like this one so the actual shape it's okay but it's not unique and lastly I have to give it to the formula because like I said earlier it is on the drier size so it's not gonna be a creamy creamy pencil but you still don't need to put a lot of pressure to be able to draw on your brows which I think it's a great balance I personally think I really like that about this pencil that it's not creamy creamy which I know it's gonna be great for those people who have a lot of oils around their brows or if you struggle with your brow products to stay in place throughout the whole day I think this is a great option for that I have a feeling that it is gonna last for a long time I'm sorry I cannot do a wear test to Day because it's actually 8 14 p.m. as I am filming this so I can't do a work test but I know that because the formula it is definitely on the drier side it almost feels like it's powder but it's like pencil at the same time it's kind of hard to explain and I really enjoy that I don't think it's a revolutionary like brow product there's so many alternatives out in the market but if you like hourglass and if you prefer a drier formula in a pencil form then definitely give it a try so that's my opinion on this one for the arch brow shaping gel i think the actual formula it's great it works it makes the brow hairs to stay in place i really really enjoy that the size of the brush is very small and this is actually pretty similar to my sigma brow gel let me just show it to you i have it right here 
This one, the one is also very tiny. This one that I have right here is actually the brown, the medium brown. So that's why it does have a tint. This one is clear, but if you can see the brush is pretty similar in size. So either or will work. And yeah, those are my thoughts. I mean, it's kind of difficult to review products because there are so many options out there, but I personally, really like them both i think they work great and those are my thoughts on the products and i hope that you found this video helpful in case you were looking into buying those two products i hope that you enjoyed the video and that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already and i will see you in the next one bye